What's going on YouTube fam? I'm back on the YouTube grind. Today is gonna be a full day of training and eating as a hybrid athlete. So I'm gonna take you guys through my training and how I eat throughout the day to fuel my workouts and fuel everything like that. So right now we're on the way to a run. I have a run plan this morning. It is 7.30 right now. So we're gonna do that. I'll see you guys when we get to the trail. What's going on guys? We're at the trail right now. We're actually four miles in. Forgot to record the beginning. But we're going at a zone two. Easy, easy pace. About an 820 minute per mile pace. So four miles in. See you guys when I'm done. Seven miles complete. Seven miles at a, let's see, I think like an 820 minute per mile pace. But overall good run. I'll show you guys the stats. Here are the stats from the run. Seven miles at an 805 minute per mile pace. Easy pace, zone two run. When I say easy pace, doesn't mean it's an easy run, but it's just easier because I'm going like a minute and a half slower than my marathon pace. So now it is time to go home, hydrate and refuel, get some work done. Then we're gonna go to lifting. So go one more baby. All right guys, so for me right now, it's the off season. So I'm really just grinding every single day, just trying to just be the most in shape person that I can be. And I wanna to go to school like the most in shape. So that's my goal. And every morning I run, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I usually do run in the morning, lift at around like one. And then around like, I'll go play basketball like at eight or something like that. So like three workouts a day, super taxing on the body. But um, what's super important is just fueling and just knowing the right nutrition to put in your body when you're doing all that work. So yeah, I can't wait to get back on the court though. It's been a year, I redshirted last year. So yeah, it's gonna be fun, exciting year to get back playing, back on the court and doing what I love. So yeah. All right guys, so I just got back. I'm hungry, I'm not even gonna lie. I look forward to my breakfast every single morning at the same thing and I'll show you guys what that is. Every morning I do a Greek yogurt bowl with collagen, raw honey, and I have frozen blueberries on top and it's literally like a dessert, it's protein packed. I do four pasteurized eggs with two slices of this Izio sourdough bread. Whenever I buy bread, I make sure that it has simple clean ingredients in it and this one is super simple and not filled with fillers and preservatives. So yeah, every morning, Greek yogurt bowl, four eggs and two sides of sourdough. So let's get it. Hey okay, guys, so we have our first meal of the day. We got the four pasteurized eggs, two slices of sourdough and a Greek yogurt bowl with collagen, raw honey, frozen blueberries. This meal right here is pretty big. It has around 800 and something calories with 70 grams of protein. So this is a great refuel for after a run. We got our protein, our healthy fats, our carbs. So it's a great meal to just refill with and be ready for my next workouts. So catch you guys in the next segment. I finished my food. Now we're about to work on these courses to get certified in nutrition and personal training. So I'm gonna work on that for about an hour and a half. Then we have a lift. So let's get to it. You guys did a little bit of my coursework now it's time to get ready for my lift. So what I'm about to make right now is some natural pre-workout and some electrolytes. So I go to my drawer, I get the pre-workout, but there's none. So guys, we're just gonna have some electrolytes. These are the electrolytes that I use. Santa Cruz Paleo Mango Electrolytes. Super good if you wanna really just up your your workout and just have good blood flow because we lose so much sweat when we work out and it's good to replenish that with electrolytes. So I drink electrolytes every single day before my workouts just so I can stay hydrated and replenish everything that I'm losing when I'm working out. Sip this, super refreshing. And then we're gonna be on the way to the lift. Today's push day, we're gonna get after it. Just got done with a chest workout with my guy right here, my guy, Jesse. My OD, trainer, OD. my dog, you. man. Yes, sir. But we got a good chest workout in. 
I didn't get any clips because we were locked in, but we got that work in. That's all that matters. Absolutely killed chest right now. I'm tired. It was a great workout. Um, training my guy Jesse. Um, he's my basketball trainer, but I'm training him when it comes to you know lifting and coaching and dieting and stuff like that. So and he's been doing really good. We're two weeks in right now. Just staying disciplined and locked in. He's really locked in right now. So yeah, it's good to see the progress um, when you're putting the time into people that you're working with. So yeah, been to the driveway home. Now we're about to refuel, shower up, and do some more coursework. So I'll probably have like some ground beef, some sauerkraut. I'll show you guys when I get to the kitchen. But it's time to refuel. I'm hungry, I gotta get that protein in. So let's go. You guys, here's what we're having for lunch. We have grass-fed, grass-finished burger patties. We're gonna top it with some, some of this organic mustard, some of this sauerkraut for gut health, some onion. And we got some of these Bubby's pickles. These are super good, they're like sweet. But yeah, that's what we're having for lunch. And we're gonna put some raw cheddar on those patties. And we're gonna have a side of a whole bunch of watermelon. All right guys, so we got our grass fed patties with raw cheddar, pickles, onions, and we have sauerkraut on the side for gut health. Um, this is a half a pound of ground beef, so I'm getting my protein in. It's 85-15 ground beef. Um, when I do cheese, I get high quality, either raw or grass fed cheese. And then the pickles, they're super sweet and just, they go so good with the mustard and the patties. But so this is lunch. Everything in this lunch is single ingredient. Watermelon, single ingredient. The beef, single ingredient, onions, pickles, sauerkraut. Like everything is super simple. Uh, I try to stick to minimal ingredient foods, just whole foods. So yeah, this is the lunch. So let's get to eating. What's going on guys? Um, I just woke up from a nap. It's like five o'clock right now. We took a little nap before we started making dinner, but tonight I'm about to have some wild caught salmon with organic green beans and rice. So we're gonna make that and I'll show you guys. When I start making it, the sun kicked me today. This morning we had a seven miler and that really kicked me. So I had to take a little nap, but I'm gonna show you guys my fuel for tonight so let's get to it so we got our wild caught salmon right here from the farmer's market i always get wild caught i don't get farm raised because farm raised or they're raised in bad environments and they can carry a lot of mercury in them they're just not raised good but wild caught you know what you're getting it's wild caught it's not raised in a farm a fishing farm so yeah and they also add color to the farm raised salmons but yeah it looks like a good salmon. I'll probably slice it in half and eat both fillets. So I'll show you guys how I cook it. So we got our two pieces of salmon right here. I'm gonna season it with salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. And I'm thinking about adding like a little honey glaze on top while that's in the oven. So we're gonna do that. Hey right, you guys, dinner is served up. Organic green beans, white rice with coconut aminos on top. And we got our honey glazed salmon cooked in the air fryer. This looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna tear this up. Let's look at that salmon though, that honey glaze on there. Looks really good, but yeah, that's my dinner. All right guys, so I just killed my dinner and that's gonna conclude the video of a full day of eating and training as a hybrid athlete. Um, I couldn't get in the basketball gym today, but kind of sad about that. But tomorrow we'll get back in there, go hoop and yeah. Full day of just trying to be the most in shape person I can be. And yeah, I'm gonna do more vlogs like this over the next two weeks, just so you guys can see how I get ready and stuff like that. But yeah, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in and catch you guys in the next video.